Hi, Mad Medic here from the Komodo Komodo Users Forum. Uh, today I am going to show um, how I make some breaded baked chicken in the Komodo Komodo. It's a basic uh, crumb recipe, kind of like a shake and bake uh, that you put on the chicken. So uh, first of all, here I am lighting my fire. Um, I like to use the weed burner. Uh, I know it's overkill, you don't have to light your fires this way. But it's fun and it's uh, easy. And as you can see, I light the fire. I, I move the, um, the torch all around for about two minutes. Okay, so what I use is the oven fry extra crispy uh, chicken breading, for lack of a better word, made by Kraft. So here I go uh, preparing the chicken. It is skinless. And here I'm going to go ahead and, and, and uh, put the crumbs on. I put it on very, very heavy. And uh, today I'm going to do four slices or four pieces of chicken thighs. And so, um, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that on a lot, a lot of crumbs. And uh, I'm just going to do one more here to show you, and then we'll, uh, we'll go out to the fire. It's amazing how tasty this is. It's very crispy, very tasty. Cooks for about 40 minutes in the Komodo Komodo, and it's really good. Okay, so we're ready to add the chicken. Um, the temp's about 380, 390, and I wanted about 375. Went ahead and did two more chicken thighs. Okay, so let's get this thing going and load the chicken up on the Komodo Komodo. I am using the upper grill that I cook in the dome in this. And the plan is to cook it for about 45 minutes. I am not going to um, turn it. Okay, so there we go. 45 minutes, and we eat. Okay, I'm about um, 15 minutes into the cook. I'm sitting right at 380, which is fine. I eat, you know, 375, 380 is good. I've been sitting there now about mm, about eight to 10 minutes. It, it recovered in about five minutes, and then I adjusted the uh, the top hat just a little bit to um, to get it at 380. And just to show you, at the bottom. There I am. I have the flywheel there open, basically full open. The um, the top there, you really can't see any gap in there. That's probably about maybe two two full rotations, if that. Um, you know, it's kind of a game. You can either open the top more or the bottom more, or one less than the other. It doesn't really matter. Um, the goal is to achieve the desired temp. So there I am, 380. That's what I want. So all is good, about 15 minutes into the cook. Okay, here's a side note. I'm 30 minutes into the cook. I'm still sitting at 370, almost 380, 370. Open that up just a little bit. But how hot, how hot is the grill? So at 380, 370, I can put my hand on it. It is, you know, very warm. But uh, it's not burning me, it's not dangerous, it's not going to scar me, blister me, or anything. And uh, I can tolerate it. And it's just not so bad. 380. 370. If I move up to the top, that feels a little bit hotter, especially in this area right through here, right where the heat's coming out. Right on top, that's nothing. Here, ooh, that's that's pretty hot, but you know that's to be expected. All the heat's coming out right there. So anyway, there we go. Thirty minutes into the cook. Okay, we're uh, about forty-three minutes into the cook. My grill temp is three sixty. They look done. Let's do a uh, temp check. Ooh, they're done. They're well done. More than done. Taking them off.
Okay, here we are taking them off. Beautiful. Looks good. Over here, 43 minutes. Probably got the heat that I used and the temp, internal temp. 40 minutes would have been fine, fine. Um, but they'll still be good, very good. So there you have it, uh, breaded Komodo baked chicken. 40 minutes is all that's needed, about 375, 380 degrees. And it is very tasty, very crispy, and it's a, and a meal you will enjoy.